tell the Chuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. Hey, Bob. Would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting. And long. Here's your joke book back. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Why do demons have horns on their heads? because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Skybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Gladly. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. You want my advice? Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um... As your queen...
I've decided to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me, army mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. Is there anything special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Are you in the chums? Mmm, um, not saying anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Listen. Let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right. But if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people, a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. I had just broken through a blockade, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. Hey, fellow chum. You must know the tradition. I can't talk chum's business if you don't show your lure. Do not approach the gate, please, sir. This is not a tourist attraction. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait-casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... Our stringer took a strike from a smoker that turned out to be a mermaid. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. The guard is guardedly guarding the gardens. Hi. 
Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here, just out. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm the queen, and I just want to take a look at my quarry. It's not your quarry, your majesty. It's a federal facility, overseen by the 673rd Circuit Court. The only people allowed inside are the prisoners. And also, I suppose, people visiting the prisoners, but no one ever does that. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. He's gone for years and years. Where did you say they were keeping Stan again? The ice quarry on Bermuda. He'll be there for years and years, and more years after that, thank goodness. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. Nice likeness of you. Where's the other half? No comment. Ah, what's that? Locked away for a long time. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. Oh, keep it together, Ned. Can I have the picture? No. That would be weird. Think about all the happy years. Fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a dugan called Flambe, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Your story's not bad, but it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obvious. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. 
and he's probably not okay. These maps were Wally's life's work, at least I assume so. Hi. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. I've got three golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Hmm. Greetings, fellow chum. I presume you want to tell a story, but I can also tell just by looking at you that you're not ready for the likes of us. Go out and find more chums to advise you. They'll know when you're ready. Hey, Guybrush! Welcome back. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married, or killed, or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden. My ship was swallowed by a manatee. A really, really big one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. What on earth is a manatee? You lost me after that. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, our stringer took a strike from a smoker that turned out to be a mermaid. Then Morgan knocked me out and sold me to my enemies. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that.
Come on! Well, I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. fellow chum. Guybrush! You've joined the chums! I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. line with my own hair. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got it. This could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Apple Bob. You'll have to go back to LeChuck's ship, of course, but he's worth it. Thanks. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I made a fishing line with my own hair. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a googan called Flambe. 
And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Dazzling. You weave a story like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Whitey. Most likely. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden... Mm. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny mm. and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. Mm. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. I was confused by the flambe character, who just appears in the story without any introduction. Aye. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank mm. like a landlubber's bait box. Mm. 
one false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. And uh, I know I said there wouldn't be no reward for success with the chums, but it's quite an achievement. Mm. So we'll be giving you this commemorative trophy. It says prize chum. Aw. Thanks, guys. I'm touched. Fellow chum? Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yes, that one's a keeper. Pack it in your grill and take it to the fish shop on Mele. I'd like to visit my close friend Stan, please. Like I told you, I need to see some hard evidence that you've ever been within two feet of each other. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. You know, Stan? Keep on walking, you'll find him. You know where Stan is? Keep on walking, you'll find him. You know, Stan? He's in the back corner. Loud guy, big hat. Just past the tunnel. Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. 
It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Piracy. You got a raw deal, son. Everybody does that. It's barely even a crime. But technically it is, and since you're here, I've got an idea to share with you. I want you to consider these two words. Ice, sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength, elegance, and eh, I don't think so. Don't wait too long, they're selling like hotcakes. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be problematic if anyone looks too close. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush? Sweet gingerbread cake. That's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. It says he only has one month left. Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society to be sure, but a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him 10 years with no chance for parole. Uh, he once sold me a leaky ship. Does that count? The court rules not admissible, given the statute of limitations is up. Court is adjourned! May I approach the bench, Your Honor? The Queen of Bermuda is always allowed to approach the bench. Court is now in session, Judge Plank presiding. Your Honor, may I inquire about the case of everyone v. Stan? Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society to be sure, but a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him 10 years with no chance for parole. Court is adjourned! Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. 
You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records? What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. Oh dear. He's gone for years. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. Paperwork, huh? I'm afraid so. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. for a long time. Are you sure you don't have any of Stan's business records? As I said before, Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. be stuck closed. Employees only. Hey, guy brush. Let's visit again soon. I have your people call my people. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. I admit it. I know Stan, so what of it? You can't prove anything. Think about all the happy years you'll have before he gets out. I think it's out of juice. It says, Prize chum. Think about all that. Is that a sail? Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a seagull. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. Think about all the happy years you'll have before he gets out.
years and years and years. Remember that. He's locked away for a long time. Locked away for a long time. He's in jail for years and years. Gone for years and years. Hello. Excellent, Marlin. Aye, that ain't real. It's a promotional item from a local yak butter fellow. But it looks nice enough. Here, patio dining is all the rage these days. You could think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I had just broken through a blockade as thick and deadly as the crab biscuit the scum bar. And then, all of a sudden... <laughs> My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You're not half bad at this. You should go talk to the three geezers at the fish shop. And, uh, don't tell them I said they were geezers. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden,
Our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. You're not half bad at this. You should go talk to the three geezers at the fish shop. Hello. Tell me again about Bella Fisher's fishing spot. They say she left behind a clue as to where it was, but no one knows what sort of clue that'd be. All rumors, of course, probably nothing to it. How's it going, chums? Keep your voice down, Guybrush. Remember, the society is semi-secret. Emphasis on the semi. But that's not on purpose. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. <laughs> you should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks, I'll do that. <laughs> Ooh, nice upgrade for eating alfresco. Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. Hold it! Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Years and years and years. Remember that. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. What's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I'd take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness!
Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, Section H, Subsection G, Parenthesis E. I see. And Section U, Parenthesis E, Parenthesis II, Subsection A, Parenthesis B. Okay. And Section S, Parenthesis D, Parenthesis F, Subsection U. I withdraw the question. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish via V Customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Streetwood. I do my accounting under a legal pseudonym, for tax reasons. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Stan. Hey, Stan. Howdy, son. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh, no. I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years! Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Got talent. Copy it down. 